Hey, this is Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and in this video we are going to have a look at Optin Monster. Optin Monster is a lead generation tool and a tool which can help you grow your email list. If you have a blog or a website which gets a lot of organic visitors, then I would recommend that uh, you go ahead and have a look at uh, Optin Monster. There are a few alternatives as well which I will cover in uh, more videos. But uh, I am a user of Optin Monster and uh, I have been able to collect a lot of email IDs on my website. If you are driving traffic via paid advertising, then I would recommend you to go ahead and drive traffic to a landing page like uh, learndigitalmarketing.com because uh, when driving traffic via paid advertising, you are only going to advertise what you are offering and you are going to directly get people to opt in and uh, this will probably give you a higher conversion ratio than using Optin Monster. So if you want to look at Optin Monster being deployed in my site, so let's open an incognito window and visit my blog digitaldeepak.com. So Digital Deepak gets a lot of traffic from SEO and I get traffic which is distributed across all the blog posts that I have published and all the pages I have published. So when people visit my blog and people try to exit the website by moving the mouse outside the window, either to close the window or open a new tab, then this is an exit pop-up. So there is something called exit intent technology, which uh, looks at whether the user is leaving the site and when the user is leaving the site, it offers something. So here I am offering free digital marketing course with 25 videos and I am asking people to enter their name and email ID here and this is the same funnel as my landing page so it goes into the same email marketing sequence and people start getting uh, the lessons in the email so if i enter my name and email id here it will start the email sequence so that is being set up by optin monster and uh, i will go ahead and uh, show you inside the dashboard of optin monster so this is my login area of Optin Monster and uh, DM Leads is the uh, campaign that I am running for desktop. So it's a pop-up and it says that the campaign is performing above average compared to the uh, numbers that are usually available uh, inside Optin Monster. So I can go ahead and edit the campaign if I want and if I want to make some changes to this exit pop-up I can do it right here. and. Uh, here uh, there is also an yes no option uh, which can be shown in the pop-up and after people click yes you can show the opt-in form and then there is a success message as well. So here uh, you can see that there are display settings, pop-up settings, I can change the colors, I can change the opt-in settings itself, I can change the CSS. So all these options are available. There are display rules. So I have set the rule as if exit is detected and if visitors device is desktop. So then show this campaign opt-in. So this is how the rules are set up. Integration is with my active campaign account. So as soon as uh, people opt in, they go into my active campaign flow. I can have a look at analytics and this is via Google analytics. So you need to connect your Google analytics account to go ahead and view analytics. So here uh, you can see this is how it has been performing. I have been getting 3.72% conversion rate. Out of 10,000 visitors, I have collected 386 leads just in the last 30 days. So if I go ahead and check all time, you can see that I have generated 2,564 leads via Optin Monster. And uh, this is how effective it has been. So 2,564 leads is uh, going to be at uh, 20 rupees per lead if I am driving traffic via Google AdWords uh, it is going to be costing me 51,280 rupees to drive the traffic via Google Ads so that's how uh, effective this is and uh, it helps me generate a lot of leads for free through my website so I will show you the mobile opt-in as well so if I go back to dashboard by clicking the X button here you can see that I have put a mobile uh, form as well, but uh, the mobile form does not have a lead generation option. Instead, I have put a button which will go ahead and link to learndigitalmarketing.com. And whenever I get the leads here, 
uh, it is going to the same funnel that I have created. So let's go back to the dashboard. So only two forms I have created and uh, I can do split testing. I can duplicate the existing campaign. I can go ahead and uh, organize it according to folders and uh, all these options are available inside Optin Monster. In fact, uh, there are so many more uh, available campaigns that I can create that I am yet to create, which I will be creating. So that's it about uh, Optin Monster. I hope this video gave you an idea about what Optin Monster is and how you can use Optin Monster to start collecting visitors email IDs through your blog or website. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.